Welcome back to Tammy Talks. We're here today, Black Ink Crew, Chicago, Season 7, Episode 5, Pros and Conventions. Um, as always, thanks to everybody that's been subscribing to the channel, rocking with me, uh, watching the videos, thumbsing up the videos, leaving comments, all that good stuff. Um, if you rock with the video tonight, hit the subscribe button for more videos on Black Ink Crew and Insecure, Married at First Sight, The Circle, all that good stuff, y'all. Let's get... Let's get right into it. I didn't take notes on this episode, mainly because you don't really, I didn't really need to. It's a bunch of dumb shit that's happening. So, basically, all right. So, this episode is about the tattoo convention. It kind of picks up where the last one left off. Um, so, we know that we see Drea coming in and going to get her stuff from, um, to clean out her booth. From Second City, where she, um, I don't know, Charmaine fired or she quit. They they decided to part ways. So, they have this um, issue where Drea tells Heaven and um, Prince that she is now going to represent herself at the tattoo convention because she paid for a table. So, she paid for half the booth. So, she's going there not underneath the guise of Second City or the realm of Second City, but she's going to represent herself. Charmaine, on the other hand, is um, at Ryan's party that he's having like an event before they go to the tattoo convention. And Charmaine is telling them that she, um, that Drea is going to come in and act as a guest artist. And I'm thinking, why would you still think that she's going to work under your brand. Uh, why? Why would you think that? So they get to the tattoo shop. And I mean they get to the convention. And because Charmaine is setting up everything. Charmaine brings a guest tattoo artist with her. And I don't know why she even brought this man. But she brings this guest tattoo artist. And remember now, Charmaine wanted everybody to pay for themselves at the tattoo convention. She didn't want to pay for it as a shop. So you know what that means? Because Drea paid for half, Drea's going to come take her shit. So Charmaine is setting everything up. They banners look like trash compared to like the banners that Nine Mag has. And does that come with time and stuff? Sure. But I feel like Charmaine, you've been working quote unquote, in the tattoo business for long enough that you should know that them little bitty ass banners that y'all got don't look good. Like you put the tattoo that's um, Prince did super big. They look like the Beauty and the Beast mirrors on the wall. You put that big ass tattoo in there and it got their face super small. Showcase the artist. They, they're going to have their portfolios with them. They have their IG handles where you can give to somebody to go see their work. That's when I knew this was all going to go downhill from there. So then um, Drea shows up and Drea is like, I need my passes because I paid for a table. Half of this is mine. I'm not working as, you know, I'm not working as a guest artist underneath you. And Charmaine would say, well, I just thought that, why? Why would you think that she would, Charmaine? That makes absolutely no sense. Would you go in working underneath her name if y'all had that, that blow up the way that y'all did? That doesn't even make fucking sense. So, Drea is able to get the passes from them. Heaven gives her one, and it's just like, girl, here, take it. Stop the drama. Drea says she needs two passes. One of the organizers there said, no, she should actually have three. So she goes to get Kit. Kit is coming to help her out. Kit has no reason to be at the tattoo convention outside of like wanting to have drama, wanting to start some drama, wanting to be on TV. So Kit comes and Kit can't get in because the tattoo passes have all been punched. Charmaine has had all the tattoo passes punched. They're single use, so you can't use it to get in and out. So, Kit ends up having to pay the $80 so that she can get herself in. Um, so, they get in. They're setting up. Charmaine is mad, and she's telling everybody that um, Drea hijacked that booth. So, then Neek makes a very disrespectful statement and said, maybe money is an issue for y'all. It ain't an issue over here. If it's not a fucking issue over there, then why didn't Charmaine pay for all of this shit together by herself? 
It was tacky. It was unnecessary for Neek to say. On top of that, nobody even fucking asked you, Neek. You weren't there. So you don't know what the whole conversation entailed. If money is no issue, why don't y'all have Wi-Fi? If money is no issue, why does the shop look like shit? If money is no issue, why don't y'all hire a manager? If money is, a, is no issue, then why don't y'all have the proper printers in the shop? If money is no issue, then why... On God's green earth, does your wife need to be on TV the way that she is? Stop it. That was so unnecessary to say because it's not about the money with Drea. Clearly, she has said that time and time again. But Charmaine didn't pay for this here table. So if money was no issue for y'all over there, like you're saying, and we know it's not because Nick has money. We know that they have that um million dollar CMOS um company but it's like don't make it seem like drea is scraping because she wants the table that she paid for because your wife basically fired her or like the drea tell her she quit that was tacky and unnecessary to move move all your little tattoo products over to the corner and now you can worry about why you brought all these artists with you and you don't have enough space Even if Drea had not taken that table, there was still not enough space for everybody that Charmaine brought with her. Again, this is poor planning because whenever Charmaine was supposed to be paying attention when Ryan was taking Nymax to all them tattoo conventions, her ass was laying in the back sleep trying to sleep off her hangover. So Kit gets there and instead of Charmaine being the bigger person and just saying, hey, y'all, and dealing with the fact because y'all are working in close quarters, Charmaine is telling everybody that she can that's on the cast about what happened. Don came in and is talking to her and the first thing out of Charmaine's mouth, but well, you know, Dre like hijacked, she sabotaged when she came in real ghetto fight. That's not what happened at all. Now I saw that Charmaine got on Twitter and said that Drea was loud and pointing her finger and waving her hand and all this stuff we didn't see you Charmaine and we know that you're a liar so girl that's just we're gonna we're gonna go off of ooh, excuse me we're gonna go off of and we're gonna believe what we actually saw not what you are um trying to tell us that was a feather from my coat from earlier scared the mess out of me did y'all see that <laughs> so like, Charmaine is doing the most for absolutely, like, no reason. So, we see Ryan come in, and Ryan is just speaking to Charmaine. And Charmaine can't wait to run in and run off the mouth. And was like, yeah, you see, we got a drama here. And it's like, why are you, what is the point? Ryan was like, hold that thought. Let me go check on my people. Let me go check on my people and see, make sure my people are good. Ryan also said to, um, that, you know, Charmaine has people now acting the same way that she behaved before, not wanting to listen, feeling like people don't have to, um, feeling like people aren't listening to her. People aren't doing what she wants them to do, her staff being insubordinate and so on and so forth. And he told her, joke's on you. And that's real because Charmaine was an ass when she was at Nine Mag. And now you basically don't even, you're not even having people do the same stuff. They just want workable conditions. That is literally it. They want workable conditions. The issue with Kit could have been resolved if you would have swallowed your pride and told her, yeah, okay, you did offer to help me. I didn't take it because of this, this, that, and the other. No, Charmaine chose to go and sit in a, in a, a group with C's, Don and, and um Ryan and talk shit about Kit. Yeah, I hired your ex-employee. Did she work when she was with y'all? Don't do that, Charmaine. Don't act like you didn't watch the show like we did. Stop it. For her to keep saying she don't want drama and she doesn't want all this mess and ghetto fight, you're standing in a circle knowing that Kit is in earshot and you're talking shit about her for no reason. That's bullshit. Charmaine knows what the fuck she is doing. She ought to be ashamed of herself. She ought to be ashamed of herself. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Does Kit need to be on the show? Probably not. This should really be Kit's last season. It really should. Kit has to go find something else to do. 
Because this is not going to work. Girl, nobody likes you on Chicago or New York. <laughs> And I don't know if Kit is the problem or what the what the the problem is or what the problem could be, but you are not gelling with either one of the cities. So then Caesar is acting like he didn't see her. I didn't see her there. Shut shut up, C's. Shut up, C's. Stop it. Stop it. So then we see um Kids start going off the DC and her comes out and that accent comes out and she's talking about people playing in her face and all this other stuff. And then Ryan is like, what's she mad at me for? Did you even go speak, Ryan? Or did you come in on some, I'm a P on Charmaine's side without even finding out what the real issue was? But see, Ryan always is on Bush in anyways. So now you and Charmaine are like best friends, huh? Now y'all are besties. When literally just a season ago, y'all was at each other's necks. But now let's confide in Ryan and let's confide in, in Charmaine so we can talk shit about Kit, who Ryan fucked over last season. Stop it. Stop it. So then we see um, on next week's episode, we on the trailer, uh, Ryan is getting everybody together because the cast does not film as a whole. And it looks like Prince is pissed because um, Prince wants to leave Second City or he's debating leaving Second City because, as we saw this episode, because of Charmaine's um, just poor management skills, he doesn't have anywhere to tattoo. So he goes to tattoo at Ryan's shop with, with Nine Mag and Ryan is taking 50, a 50% cut. Charmaine doesn't seem to care. Charmaine doesn't give a damn. Ooh, child. So um, we see next week that I guess Charmaine, I mean, um, Kit and Ryan get into it. And it's like, Kit, sweetheart, do everybody a favor. Find you something else to do. <laughs> uh, uh, Black Ink is, is not right for you. We see that now they don't have to bring in damn Steven from London town to come over and rock with you because nobody else wants to film with you. This really needs to be the last season of this show. This really, 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 really needs to be the last season of this show. I'll catch y'all next week, maybe, because I feel like next week is going to be something worth running at the mouth out again. <laughs> so <laughs> thumbs up the video on your way out if you enjoyed it. Um, leave some comments down below. Catch y'all next Monday.